What is No Labels looking for in terms of when it's going to decide whether or not to mount a challenge? Like, what are what's the thing that would draw you in? Yeah, well, um, I'm not sure it would draw me in or would draw them in. It's I'm, I'm a former honorary chairman of, uh, of of No Labels, but I'm really focused on trying to see if we can't find a Republican uh, to win the nomination. That's not Donald Trump, because I think he gives my party the the worst uh opportunity to win even though we just you just saw the poll numbers and he's ahead of biden yeah, as nikki haley pointed out last night she's 17 points ahead of biden and trump is pretty much neck and neck and desantis is losing so i thought that was a strong argument but no labels is saying look if with probably after we see all of this mess in the train car wreck and uh next couple of months they have until march or so when you get past super tuesday and if everybody in the country realizes that we're stuck with two very unappealing candidates that 70 percent of the country doesn't want, then there's a chance that they might uh, try to put together a unity ticket uh, to have the courage to put the country first and put together a Republican and a Democratic uh, uh, you know, top-tier candidate or ticket that could compete.